Hi, I'm Melissa from Northline Express. Here with one of my favorite mosquito control products, and that is Mosquito Barrier. If you're not familiar with the product, it's a great all-natural mosquito repellent. It's used, um, it's actually made of 100% garlic juice, so that it's going to be perfectly safe for use around pets, fish, plants, as well as your children and yourself. So it's a great way to keep mosquitoes away, especially with all these crazy mosquito-borne diseases out there. The best way to prevent those is by preventing mosquito bites, and the best way to prevent mosquito bites is to use garlic berry to keep those mosquitoes away. Um, the way it actually works is it's got, garlic has natural sulfur in it, and that's what the mosquitoes smell, and that's what keeps them away and the area spray this is capable of using keeping them away for about a month's time um, but the first time you apply it you're going to want to spray once and then again within about a week's time spray again because that's going to just help kick it in really well because the mosquitoes weren't used to that garlic smell so they haven't left yet but once that second dose is applied they're going to really know to stay away so it's a very, very easy product to use. If you've got a pressure sprayer, you're ready to go. That's all you're going to need. The garlic barrier is available in gallon sizes as well as the quart sizes. The best, safest way is always to go with the gallon. The product does have a great shelf life of two years if you keep it in a cool, dark place. So don't worry about stocking up on your garlic barrier. It's a great product. It's got great uses. But today I'm going to talk to you about using the mosquito barrier to mix how to mix it so you can use it to spray your yard and keep those mosquitoes away. So what I've got here, I'm going to set aside my other barrier here, but I've got my quart opened here of mosquito barrier, I've got my pressure sprayer, and then I've got my hose nearby so I can fill up my pressure sprayer. My um, pressure sprayer here is the little big tank. It holds just over a gallon of water. So for each gallon of water, you're going to use four ounces, and I've got a mason jar here that's very nicely marked out in ounces, but you could use any type of measuring apparatus to get this right. So what I'm going to do is simply just measure out the four ounces. So if you have also a larger um, measuring, or I'm sorry, larger pressure sprayer, then it's simple. If you have a two gallon one, you would just add eight ounces. This is what the garlic barrier looks like. It's diluted and kind of cloudy in color, but that's absolutely normal. And you will notice a very strong garlic scent. Don't be alarmed. One, that's because it's concentrated right there in front of you. Once you fill your pressure sprayer up to the line on the max line and mix that in. You're not going to smell it when it's in it. When you are applying it, yes, you're going to smell that garlic spray, but don't be alarmed if in a few minutes we're not going to be able to smell it anymore, but it's going to still be a smell, um, still be detectable by the mosquitoes. So I'm going to go ahead and mix in my garlic barrier along with my water, and then we're simply, I'm going to show you how the best way to apply your garlic barrier for the best results. Okay, so I've added my barrier and I filled my pressure tank to the capacity line. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on and then we're ready to go. We've got to get it pressurized. So while I'm waiting here, I'm going to go ahead and pressurize that. But while you're, while I'm getting my tank ready here, the best time of day is actually going to be to do this in the early evening or again in the early morning between about the hours of 7 to 8 and again in the evening between 5 to 8 p.m. you'll get the best results with applying this. It's when the mosquitoes are going to be the most active so you're going to for sure have them like on a day like right now while I'm demonstrating this. It's very hot, very dry, the mosquitoes most likely aren't in the area so it's most effective to make sure you're spraying it in the morning hours and as well as in the evening hours. Okay, so I've gotten my garlic barrier mixed in with my water. My pressure sprayer is ready to go. So I've started here so I can give you guys a pretty good example of the different areas I want you to make sure you're spraying completely with the garlic barrier to get a really good results with the garlic barrier. I've got here a garden, flower beds, some pots, as well as a grassy area on my property. What you're going to want to do after you get your pressure tank ready to go is give it a nice, even coating. Make sure you're getting all the little nooks and crannies. Do it on your grass as well. You're going to want to use a sweeping motion and just like you'd apply any other type of product to your lawn, you're going to want to go back and forth until you get it accurately covered. Just a sweeping motion, great exercise as well as a great way to keep the mosquitoes away. Mosquito Berry is another great product from Northline Express, home of the buy and try satisfaction guarantee. Don't forget we're also your one-stop shop for all your mosquito control solutions.